In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create this amazing rolling text animation in After Effects. It's a fast and easy tutorial. If you're new here, subscribe for more simple and useful motion graphics tips. Now, let's jump right in. Open Adobe After Effects. Then create a new composition. Name it Rolling Letters Text Animation. As always, I'll be using the same resolution. Set the frame rate to 30 frames per second and the duration to 5 seconds. Select the Type tool from the toolbar, click anywhere on the screen, and type any text you want. Center the anchor point, then align the text to the center. Next. Change the font color to any color you like. This will be our text guide layer. As you can see, we have seven letters in our text. So, double click on the text layer and type the letter A seven times. Activate the ruler by pressing Ctrl plus R. Zoom into 200%, then create a guide just below the A letters. We set the screen size, then close the ruler. Now, lock this text layer. Select the vertical type tool from the toolbar, then change the front color to white. Click anywhere on the screen, then start typing A to Z. Also, don't forget to add an underscore after Z. Now, zoom in on the screen. Then position the letter A exactly over the first J of our guide text. Duplicate this text layer. Then open the position properties. Increase the X position of the duplicated text until it covers the A letter of the back layer. Repeat the same process for the remaining text layers. Let me do it faster to save your time. Select all layers, then press the U key to hide the properties. Now, you can safely delete the guide layer since we don't need it anymore. Right click here, go to new, and create a solid layer. Name it masking or any name you prefer. Select the rectangle tool from the tool bar and create a mask on the masking layer. It should cover all A letters. Then hide the masking layer. If you want to adjust the mask size, just double click on the mask then adjust its size. Now, I am going to rename each layer so it will help me remember which layer belongs to which letter. Now, go to Effects and Presets. Search and apply the sec mat effect to the first layer, which belongs to G letter. In the Seth Matte effect settings, change take mat from to masking. Then change the from source to effects and masks. Copy the Seth Matte effect, then select all remaining layers and paste the effect onto them. Select all layers and press P to open the position properties. Adjust the Y position to negative values until the underscore becomes visible. Now, click the stopwatch icon to add a keyframe for all layers. Move forward to the two second mark, then adjust the Y position of the R layer until the letter R becomes visible. Repeat the same process for the remaining letters, adjusting their Y positions so they reveal the correct letter at the right time.
Now, select all the second keyframes. Go to the graph editor. Enable snap if it's not already enabled and make sure the edit speed graph is selected. Adjust the graph to create a smooth animation, something like this. Exit the graph editor. Let's preview it. Fantastic. Now, move five frames forward and shift all keyframes to start from that position. Then, move three frames forward and adjust the keyframes of each letter accordingly. Repeat the same process for the remaining letters to refine the animation timing. Next, move the time indicator to 4 seconds and trim the work area. Let's check the final output. Cool. Looks perfect to me. You can download the project files from my website. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tutorials. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions. See you in the next video. Thanks for your support and love. Peace.